a very good afternoon to all. I am Dr. Pritha Pal, and we have gathered here to this auspicious program of Bibek Jyoti Shaman Lifetime Achievement Award organized by Swami Vivekananda University. It's the time to honor Mr. Harshvardhan Yotia, and he is going to be felicitated by our respected VC Sir, Professor Kumar Shubhamoto Kumar De. A very good afternoon to everyone. I am Dr. Pritha Pal, Assistant Professor of School of Life Sciences, Swami Vivekananda University. And I welcome you all to this auspicious program, Bibek Jyoti Shomman Lifetime Achievement Award, organized by IIC Cell, that's Institutions Innovation Council Cell of Swami Vivekananda University, Kolkata. So here we have gathered to honor the pillars behind the Swami Vivekananda group of institutions. The journey of establishing a university started with a view to impart education to the youth where there had been a group of eminent personalities whose ideologies, principles and ideas worked as a note of inspiration for us. Well, to start with a famous quote of Booker T. Washington, success is to be measured not so much by the position that one has reached in life as by the obstacles which he has to overcome. Well, today we have gathered to render our token of respect and honor to a highly renowned and eminent personality in the field of business entrepreneurship, who have always been an inspiring milestone for all of us. He is none other than Mr. Harshvardhan Nyotia. He is the current chairman of Ambuja Nyotia Group, a corporate house headquartered in Kolkata. Ambuja Nyotia Group consists of sectors like real estate, hospitality, healthcare, education, incubation. Mr. Nyotia was conferred the Padma Shri in the year 1999 for his outstanding initiative in the field of social housing as well. We welcome you, sir, and we are extremely privileged to share a seat with you. And in this open air, we'll have a short and yet interesting conversation. Sure. Yes, sir. Sir, first of all, tell us how are you feeling being honored with this Vivek Jyoti Shomman? Well, it's a great honor. Any honor means a great amount of responsibility. I'm conscious that with uh, every such recognition comes uh, a greater need to focus on the work that we do and to do it even better in the future. So thank you very much for honoring me and really appreciate the effort of your university. Absolutely, sir. We are always looking forward to the support given by you people so that we can also improve day by day because we are a blooming university. So, uh, sir, what would be your valuable suggestions for the students of our university so that they can also think about a business startup, right, and follow the path paid by you? Well, um, I think in many senses, um, you should follow your passion. Everyone has different interests. Sometimes we see many young students following what is uh, seen to be fashionable at that particular point of time or something that is very topical. But more often than not, I have seen that students that follow their passion do better. The other is that you need to have a sense of integrity in what you do. Um, it is uh, very important that people around you trust you, uh, your colleagues, your customers. So it's important to earn that trust. And uh, finally, there is no substitute to hard work. Um, after all that we study in universities and colleges, finally it is the grind, the persistence, the patience required to every day do your job and do it well that makes you successful. Absolutely, sir. And sir, uh, uh, walking through the school life or the college life, because we are having the students of our college, uh, university, so was there any event of inspiration or moment of motivation which has triggered in you in going to, to which has helped you to go in this particular field? Well, um, I have long felt 
that uh, excellence in education is essential for a person's um, long-term success. It gives him a nice foundation and uh, we have always wanted to be in education. So in uh, 2008 we got the opportunity to acquire an institution called the Institution of Technology in Marine Engineering and then um, later on in 2015 it was converted into a private university. So now the Neotia University is there. So I think uh, we hope that we are serving uh, the people with quality education at affordable costs and that's really our endeavor. Thank you so much sir for your words and uh, sir walking through the journey to become a successful entrepreneur is definitely not easy and so what are the challenges or you can say the ups and downs in your journey can you just walk us let us walk a bit. No, no, that will take a very <laughs> long time. I don't think it's so simple to do that. But uh, I think bro broadly, as I said, if you follow your passion, you you are in, you have a deep sense of integrity with what you're doing. Uh, you uh, do it with a lot of diligence and hard work. Uh, rest, of course, there is always a matter of destiny and luck. Yes. And one has to be conscious of that. Uh, two people, starting off with in the same situation don't reach the same point yes. and uh, I think there is an X factor which we cannot always pinpoint as to what it is so that of course is a factor which is not in our control and we have to have only humility to accept it but what is in our hand is the ability to work hard to be honest about what we do and to be passionate of what we do. And so do you feel the same passion which you used to feel in the day one of your journey? Yes, in fact, it has increased with time because um, you uh, have learned a lot and now you can see that the mistakes you make, uh, some of them you yes. learn from. Yes. And uh, I'm really uh, grateful to God to give me the opportunity to do the work that I love to do. I'm essentially involved in real estate and making buildings and hospitality. Yes healthcare, education. So in all these sectors, um, uh, I, I really enjoy my work. So for me, yes. getting to office is a very pleasurable task. Of course, there are challenges. There are not all good days. There are some, some days that are really tough. But uh, I think uh, I, I just enjoy the outcome of what we do. And so I keep doing it. Sir, and last one, your message for our university, and it would be nice if you take the name of our university, Swami Vivekananda University. A well, short message. Good, wish, good wishes to the Swami Vivekananda University, good wishes to its faculty, to its uh, uh, Vice Chancellor who is here, and to all the students. And God bless you, hope that you succeed and grow. Absolutely, sir, and with your goodwill and support, we are hoping to grow day by day. Thank you so much, sir. This brings us to the end of the program and we are extremely privileged to have Mr. Harshvardhan Nyotia on this platform and hear from him. So we would look forward to more and more instances like this. Thank you so much, sir. On this note, I would like to wind up with a famous quote of Albert Squitzer. Success is not the key to happiness. Happiness is the key to success. If you love what you're doing, you will be successful. As sir said, enjoying, is in the, enjoying your work is very essential. Thank you. Thank you all.